Tonight, hundreds of people are honoring a well-known sound engineer who died in a motorcycle crash. WSMV 4's Sharon Dankwa spoke to friends and artists who are now heartbroken. And Sharon, you're also hearing motorcycle crashes are becoming an issue in the mm. state. Yeah, Marius Tracy, the Tennessee Highway Patrol says we're seeing more than double the amount of deaths from motorcycle accidents this year than last year. And on Saturday, one of those crashes killed 35 year old Ben Coward, a man who people say changed hundreds of lives. I was about to get ready to go to bed and my wife honestly just kind of had a gasp type freak out moment. And she showed me the picture and I was uh, just in shock. It's a moment James McNair didn't face alone. Just miles down the road, Josh Wilcott's stomach dropped. And I saw the text she had sent me and she said she had news and it was going to be a bit of a gut punch. Dozens of songwriters, musicians, family members, performers all looked at their phones in awe. Ben had been in an accident. And obviously news you never want to hear, much less expect to hear. Wilcox is talking about 35-year-old Benjamin Coward, a sound engineer, musician, singer, and friend now gone. Absolutely shocked. Police say a 19-year-old driver without a license crashed into and killed Coward while he was riding his motorcycle down Thompson Lane Saturday afternoon. Coward died moments later at Vanderbilt Medical Center. Just disbelief, but then, I mean, I, I knew how much he uh, rode his motorcycle, how much he loved riding his motorcycle. And um, it was one of those things that we uh, we worried about. A post by Ward Gunther, the owner of just one of the more than 10 venues throughout Nashville Coward worked at, is blowing up with devastating comments. It's been a pretty incredible outpouring of support and condolences to his friends, to his family, to the groups that he was involved with. He was very active as a in the drum line with the Nashville Soccer Club. He was very active in the sound engineering at many, many venues around town. Yes, I'm stuck between the rock and the hard So many of Nashville's greatest songs had their debut through his soundboard. But while hundreds say he was amazing at his job, he was also a groundbreaking human being. He had a heart for helping the new artists and making them comfortable and making them sound good. I can't imagine the amount of lives he affected and, and the, the courses of lives that he changed by giving people that confidence at that moment in their journey. A man many say they'll never forget or stop thinking about. You're going to see even more people just keep commenting because he, he did make that kind of impact in the industry and just in Nashville. The driver is now facing multiple charges while friends and family plan memorial for Coward sometime at the end of June.